Right from cradle to grave, from uh, death to rebirth. Uh, what uh, what the shit over here from the farm drives the whole farm. What do we use the manure from? What do we use the crop from? Compost. Compost to make that uh, vegetable nutrients. Okay, so it's all part of the cycle. This is going to be real quick, okay? What we're going to do is grab some rakes all over there. We're going to make some piles. We're going to be planting so I need some manure. Okay. Grab all these buckets. Here we go. Go inside. Go inside. To the rakes in the corner of the shed. Dangerous. Dangerous forever. Are you coming in with us, Mr. Cameraman? Yes. Go, go, Power Rangers. Come on, open it. Don't worry. Dangerous forever. We're going to do this for 10 minutes. I'll go. Yeah. Let me go around. Come on, right down the line. Dragging it all the way across. Always on. Come on, make it fight. All the way. And then cough. Cough. Say, mouth up. Don't make too much dust. Okay, the horses came up. Okay, good. Oh no, horses, come in. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, spirit, let's go. Come on, keep on working. We, we, just, we should be here only five minutes, and then we gotta get the hell out of here. We're bringing the horses along. It was down in the outer pastures. Come on. Let's see. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like our leaves. I only like the blue one. Okay. These are mini horses that came from Virginia. You just put it here. Hello, boy. This is Nani. And that's Spirit. We're going to use them right over in the next field. Just take them outside of the corral. And you grab this other bucket too. No, no, I'm going to use it. I'm going to fill this one up. Okay. No, no, I'm going to use this one. Yeah, take this other bucket, fellow. These horses are mini horses. They're not Shetland ponies. They're not. They're used to going to the coal mines of Virginia. The temperament got to be really good. They're really tame. They're smart. They can only carry 60 pounds. You went all the way down. Yeah. Then go all the way down, all the way down, and I like you close the gate. There's a gate down there. Go inside here. You're going to see one gate open. Way down. Close the gate. So they're using the coal mines of Virginia. They can carry only 60 pounds to 80 pounds on their back, but they can pull 4,000 pounds. They got pulling power. So they can pull coal. They just use the coal. Okay, we're going to leave them right there. We'll be right out. What do you think about today? Today was fun. We got to scoop up manure, which is right below you, and talk to goats and horses too. Ponies actually, right? Yeah. We got to kill a chicken, which is really fun, and to feather it. His feathers are very pretty. Jane, would you like to say anything? No, he basically got it all. I mean, all I really did was go around, fill up the water with animals, close some gates. Yeah, that's about it. And what do you think about this program you're involved in? Uh, it's mm -hmm. pretty lit. I would have never yeah. been able to do any of this if I didn't join. Oh, yeah, we're in Moe Hero Project. <laughs> it's kind of a yeah. big brain. This is our entire team. Only six of us today. This Hello. is Hunter. And then Keone. Keone. That's Kama. Yeah. That's oh. Jaden. Jaden. That's Caleb right there. Yes, the one Angie. who looks sleepy. Yep. Let me, um, can I, oh, let me ask you guys, uh, um, what is the biggest takeaway or lesson learned for you guys today? 
uh, from the, the slaughtering the chicken, you know, taking care of the farm. What is the thing that stands out for you personally? What is this going to do for you for the rest of your life? Uh, it sh for me, it shows that hard work can give a lot of payoffs. Mm -hmm. You guys all had a chance to walk around uh, Uncle's farm. Mm -hmm. And what is the feeling? It's very nice, very good feel. Everything is obviously very natural. And yeah. it's like a really good feeling. Yeah, I like that. Even I walked around and I was like, whoa. This, this, this place is really, it's living. Yeah. And um, I, I, it was really neat to watch you guys engage with Uncle. And, you know, he only teaching you guys this much. <laughs> You guys are gonna do so much more than most students right now in school today. You guys are getting the education of a lifetime. This is powerful stuff. Yeah, we can eat all the chickens that run around in school, guys. Bro, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guys, guys, all we gotta do is, <laughs> when we, when we so go, guys, when we go back to school, we gotta go catch all the chickens, <laughs> just throw the net and catch them. Free food, the school can just, save money. Wow. Yeah. Bro, we just show up to school with all the chickens plucked and ready and be like, here, you, you like you like make us eat chicken all the time and take the damn chickens that are on the property. The principals are going to go, what happened to you guys? What the what? We yeah. learned from nature. Yeah. yeah. And you made stew out of it. Oh, you can make all kinds Whoa. of chicken long Zozo. Wait. Chicken lolo. Lo. <laughs> We're filling up the, sh the manure inside of the horns. We bury this for one year. We're making microorganisms. Rudolf Stada did this in the 1800s. My grandfather picked up the same thing. So I like, like go over here. Okay, uh, try to dig one hole right here um, um, with your shovel. Watch, watch out, come this side. Where do you want it? You just can lift this up. This is actually my emo already. Yeah, we're just gonna lay them in here like this. Okay, and we're gonna cover them. Okay, let's, let's fill them up. I do this once a year. Now after one year, this will make a microorganism. We only need one tablespoon per 100 gallons. That's how powerful this will be. Here, you hold on to that. Okay, bring them. Put them right on, right on the side, so if I put them in, yeah. Hold it over. Yeah, like that. And what is that? This is, a, this is what we call biodynamics, yeah? We're taking the earth, we're taking the manure, then we're, gonna, we're actually going to age it. It's like making culture. What do you call that stuff when you make the... Okay, try, try see if we got one, anyone's one. Okay. And what kind of horn is that? This is our bull's horns. This is, these are bulls that I ate already. I caught them and I ate them. This is long horns. You can imagine how big, big the horns are. Okay. Then later on, I'll dig them up in a year, and then I'll just this thing will be all white powder inside of there. Okay, just put them over there, and then I'm gonna next to that. We got any more? Yeah. Yeah. There's a skull inside, yeah. Keep in the mono. Now they usually say use cow, cow shit, but I use whatever shit I got, you know what I mean? Yeah. Shit. shit is shit, eh? Yep. Yeah, somebody full of shit, so... And this is gonna be horns that's full of shit, too. <laughs> okay. Sorry, these remind me of the ones you just... Uh... Huh? Do you have an Australian Shepherd? Yes, I do. With a purple collar. Why, is she running around? Put everything all over here. Leave everything here. Okay, what are we gonna do? We're gonna just make one small section. Everybody put all of the money over there. We're gonna weed one section, all right, right here, all the way up to where you leave the bucket right there. There's gonna be a marker. Okay, everybody pull out all the weeds in this one section. From here, all the way down to here. It'll take us about five minutes. Come on. Okay. In hose. Okay. Okay, just throw them all on the edges. Okay. Lauren. They're going to hold right here. Yeah. With the other shovel. Okay. Then they went out right here. Okay, we, what we do is we're planting in between. 
Okay. Yeah. You can, uh, here, give me all that, that, that manure in that bucket right there. Show me side here. Okay. Okay, just let, uh, go along here. Dig, dig my two, three more holes and I'll be right back. Where you want them? I don't know. Okay, you see, you see got some blank side in between. Okay. Where was the blank? Where's, there's one right below you. Yeah, Come what back. It moves is like how this moves. Then if you want that energy, 70 years old, moving faster than all of us, then you catch that spirit. You catch that, he was okay. saying, that vibration. You want that. I will show you guys. You gotta get your energy from the aina, not just from the food you eat, but from the, the land itself will feed you. Okay, that's enough. That's it. Now, now, now this is what I like you guys see. Okay, watch. This is the remember that that haunt stuff. After one year, it'll be like this. Oh. My core in is that I chicken manure, added dolomite, some other stuff. Okay. Now. I go to it. Where the manure? Right behind. We want taro huli from over there. Where? With one of these? No, the taro right there. The one's for plant. Okay. Here, big one. Now this one is one yellow taro. Okay, we're gonna plant over there. Wait, where's the black the black manure? Right, right there. there. Okay. Now, yeah. let me show you guys. If you plant, this is where, to the south, this way, so called Ku, you're gonna get one big taro. Okay? If you plant Hina this way, you're gonna get plenty keki. So we like big taro, so we're gonna plant them this way. Okay, face them that way, always on the slant. Okay, give me the manure. Okay, put on the top. Put the taro hole in, everyone. Ku, everybody, Ku. Okay, come on, cool. Put me inside. Okay. Still on inside. Okay, plant cool. Wait, let me let me dig them down. Okay. No, no, stick them way down deep. Yeah, no, I lift them up. Okay, put them underneath. There we go. Okay. Now we cover them up with all this dirt that was on the side. Everybody. Okay. Okay, that's the easy part. Okay, now, okay, just step over side. Now, we're gonna use the cardboard. We're gonna put a cardboard to keep down the moisture. Okay, before my grandfather used to mulch from the trees. Okay, you go grab one bag over there. Grab one bag with compost. I mean, the, the, yeah, go grab some. Some guys will grab okay. one. Okay, put them in the next holes. All the ones that he's digging. Okay. You want me to go help Ninja grab a bag? Yeah. I got, got some bags. So I'm gonna ask you what what farming has to do with disaster preparedness. Not right now, but I want you to be thinking of your answer. Okay. Okay, we push all the dirt back inside. Okay, watch. Okay, give me the dead mulch in your hand. Take all the dirt and fill up that puka. Don't worry. Okay, there. That's it. All of this you see, get cardboard, the same exact procedure we just did right now. Okay, we, with your feet, c yep. cover that all inside. Okay. Yeah, all that. Grab, it, grab the shovel. Put them. Okay. Do you understand what the cardboard does? Keep down the moisture. And then hold down the weeds. Okay, give me the other bag. What's the next thing? The black compost, you see that one? Yeah. Black compost. The manure. Also I dump this. What? Okay. Do I dump this? No, this goes over there, yeah. The black compost. Go back, go give me another bag. Leave the shovel down. You guys need, you could dug three holes there. We're only going to do three holes. 
Go over there. You need the manu over there. So Anna, all I need here, all the weeds that guys you can throw over there. No throw them over there. Put, put them aside. Okay, bring the bring the, the mulch. Okay. That's it. Okay, let's take everything out. Okay. Take this back over there. Put them inside the trailer. Okay. Good. Good job. Okay, come over here, you guys. With the mulch. When you're smart, they keep it on the ground. Yeah. All right, get, get all kind of bugs over there. All the bugs means is that we got live soil. That's what we like. We don't need weed this tariff pass for one whole year after this. After the compost and the, and the manure, then you want wood chip? You yeah, yeah. Dirt, no, no, put that dirt first. Put back dirt. all the dirt. Then the cardboard and yeah. the mulch. Yeah. No, Caleb, dirt. not the wood chip, the dirt. Dirt oh. up there. You see, one looks like wood chipped. Yeah, let me use the shovel, move fast. The other looks like dirt. <laughs> okay. Good. Just leave the rest over here. Okay. Okay, now let's use that. Yeah, cover with this. Put your foot in there. Strength to this little body we got going on. Okay. All right, good. Okay, yeah. Guys, you have to be involved in life. Where should I put it? Just put them around. You just try to cover the ground. Not on top of the plant. Not on top of the plant, yeah. Okay, be in the mulch right here. Okay, be going out of bag. Grab a couple more bags of mulch. Okay, grab all the tools out of here. Yeah, give me that. Grab all the tools, take all the manure out of here for right now. Too? Yeah, we power ready. Okay, we go. We start out of here. Just dump them. Don't cover cover the tower. You know where the tower is? Right there, right there, right there. Okay, you guys got them. Just pour it over there. Just put it over there. But try cover the. You cover the tower now. You gotta watch out the tower. Turmeric. We got this is peanut grass. We got watercress. We got the uh, spinach. Sounds all planted in here. Yeah, just just be careful. Okay, let's go. Let's go pound point now. Let's get out of here. Let's bring all the tools, bring all the stuff back, clean up everything. Like this, the yeah, the lighters go right around the corner. You're going to see one. Give me this. No, I yeah, bring stuff that. Bring all this stick back, yeah. Okay, here. OPE shelf. This is what you use to clean the chick. Uh, the, the tarot. Yeah, everybody grab one. Okay. Grab the, uh, the barrel. Take a look at one. Wait, what do you want me to do this? Yeah, close. Come over there. Okay. Check so me that chair then over there. I will show you guys what to do. Okay, what we like to do? You can use this. Show me my my shell. Okay, all the good tarot going inside this one. Show me your shell, baby. Okay, just grab one tarot. What you like to do is go from the back side, okay? Take off all the skin. That's what you guys gonna found. Yeah, bring that water over there, more close to you guys over there. Some of this tarot. Okay. Yeah, get start going. Grab with that OP shell and go. This is the thing will take a little bit long. Oh, mine is, I don't think when you get all the black stuff off, there we throw in this bucket. That's what you guys can pound on this side. No. No. This one variety called Kai Kai Allah. Get some uh, yellow tarot too in here. I don't know. Mana Ulu. I'm going to get 80 varieties of tarot, yeah. 
purely, yeah, but that, that, we're not in here. Okay, when it's kind of clean, get off all the junk stuff like that as much as you can. Okay. We'll go clean one more time anyway. Okay. Jeff, pass me one. Give me yours and grab one other one. Oh, that's a big boy. Sometimes you can just do it with your finger without even using this stuff. This taro's been cooked already? Yeah, this has been cooked for two hours. Taro is very itchy. If you don't cook it right, man, you be your whole throat will get tough. Okay, give grab one out. My dad cooked this with Lala once. Here and it go. didn't cook it right, and everybody's throats are itching on it. Yeah, you gotta cook them at least for six hours if you make Lala. La. I remember one of, I remember an auntie who owned a patch in. Okay, let's just. Okay, um. So you need, you don't need a stone, right? We'll grab the stones there. Okay. They said uh, to the to the older the younger brother said uh, or the, the brother said to him, harvest me, cut me, huli me off, and dig out the root and and steam, steam my body and you can eat me. And he said, no, 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 I can't, I love you. You're my little, my older brother. I've been taking care of you since, since uh, I was born. Well, let me turn on the light so you guys see and then he light. said, uh, no, if you plant me the top, you, after you eat me, I'll grow again. You eat my body, then you'll grow again. You understand that spiritual brother relationship. That way, that way, you know, like humans, they had a hard time trying to understand taking life to sustain life. Like Uncle was saying, don't feel bad when you're going to take life. Feel feel good that you're sustaining life, right? You have to have an understanding because you have a cow, right? And you raised it since it was a calf. You know, it feels like a pet to you. But then come a time where you have to make that sacrifice, right? And you're going to have a feeling about that loss like even if it's your uncle or your auntie maybe they made a sacrifice for you in this lifetime your parents as you get older you're going to understand that value what it is to make a sacrifice right whether it's your food or your time or your energy you're going to give something right and through that something good's going to come of it then you're going to get that feeling from the sacrifice instead of hurt you're going to have an understanding you guys are understanding what I'm saying, aren't you? Yeah. These are the things that when you have to talk to families, maybe they've lost a loved one in an earthquake or a tsunami or hurricane, like what we're studying in this program. Then you're going to understand that first responders, they make sacrifices. Military, they make sacrifices. They call it the uh, ultimate sacrifice. That's an ultimate sacrifice. Sacrifice is any time you're willing to give of yourself so some big, something bigger can survive, right? Like uncle makes sacrifice every time. Can do something else with his time, can travel around, make music. But he chooses to be here and grow food. Farmers don't make lots of money growing food, but they feed people, right? And through that, Kahumoku, that's who he is. That, that's his, not, not only birthright, that's his literal kuleana to the land that he lives on. And we get to come over here on account of the sacrifice he has to work every day to maintain. When we don't come here, come he's here every day. Mm, by himself. By himself a lot of times. And then we get to come over and experience <laughs> this. We get, to, uh, we, get, we get to shovel doo-doo. <laughs> we get to laugh. We get to joke, we get to participate. That's a blessing for us because of the sacrifice that he makes in his life. And through that, you know, we, we yeah, love him. Good. We respect yeah, him. Yeah, we have a good feeling right for him. When people talk I'm about him in the community, here. when we talk about where we went, what we did tonight, we, we share his name in a good way. We went to Uncle George Kalamoku's farm. He took really good care of mm -hmm. us, showed us good things about life, <laughs> fed us. Mm -hmm. Got to sing Bro. with him, you know. Got to listen to him. That's that's really you're fortunate. I know. I, I feel fortunate. 
not a lot of places you can learn this anymore. People take time. You, know, you go to the store, maybe you learn how to buy pizza. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think that's, a, that's or, or, something you need to learn. Or maybe you just order pizza anymore. I don't know. We had to learn how to cook our own frozen pizza back in the it's day. It's not delivery. That's, that's what we do it's at my store. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> anyway, you guys, my, my point is that uh, there's a difference between Facebook friends and real friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, my, my good friend, he just died, you know, over there on the mainland. He All just right. died, and I had to go over there. And I still keep in touch with the family through Facebook. But I really wish I was there to give them a hug, because they lost their dad, you know. And, they, and no Facebook post is going to make that feeling go away. They're going to have to come to that, their own understanding. Can you speak to me? You wet your stone, okay? And you watch. And you just mash them like this. Okay? Mash them like that. Go round and round. Then pull them back to you. Okay? I'm gonna take it a little bit of okay. remember, don't wet the wet the stone. I need a stone wet. I got bring me one chair. Uncle, my back is out of commission over here. Okay. The more smoother you can make them, the easier gonna be for us. Now you see all the different varieties we got. That's this. That's Kayala. Look like you get moe over there. It look like you get some lehua Mali. Watch, watch again. Okay. You don't need the other stuff. You only need your two hands. You push them back towards you. Okay. You just mash that bugger. Try to get them as smooth as possible. You see, you see now it's getting a consistency like foyer. Yeah? Okay. I still can feel some lumps inside, so. Bring them back. Oh, so you feel it? Yeah. And then you pound it. Yeah. We're not really pounding. Okay, yeah, when they, when we go on hope, yeah. when you got a whole bunch of it, then you start whacking up. We don't want even that much for me right now. Okay? Then we're gonna push them all in the middle. Bring me some more taro. No taro. Okay. Should I bring some more taro? Anyway. Give me your towel. I'm gonna push him in with this one. Okay. So again, same thing. It's a little bit lonely, lonely this towel. Oh, you side swipe it. Yeah. Okay, here. Get going. Before my my our family, we pound we pound thousand pounds a week. Big big family, yeah. It should be point grinding, not point pounding. This is actually called, um, this is poi. It's not poi yet. If you ferment them, then he come turned into poi. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. And then you add water. We never add water yet. All we add water is to the stone. So that, you know, stuck on the stone. And bring them all back. And then we get some moi, some moi, yeah. And it looks like it's from Kaiyala. That's Hawaiian candy right there. <laughs> the one that grows, she knows after tell she said, PLE, PLE, we don't even feed that to anybody. They only stay home. <laughs> it never reaches the market. Yeah. Just a mesh there, fuck it. You should cook for two hours. What time these polished boards ever took a stone? Yeah. You cook it in boiling water. Steam them, no, no, not in water. You get them above the water. Steam, steam cook my fast. What? 
The weather, clean up everything. You, you know, on the ground, put them on top of the stuff. Put them on top of the plants. Go around. You get plenty of plants for water. You see right there, we get the water. Ika <laughs> No, na hanani, everybody, come on. Oh, na hanani. Oh, ulu manna. Oh, ulu manna. Oh, kamana ulu. Oh, kamana ulu. Ulu kamana o. Ulu kamana o. Ulu kahamana. Ulu kahamana. Oke ola ho. Oke ola ho. Eho iho mai. Eho iho mai. Ono oka aina. Ivi tu amo, no kalahui, ai, hei no ano, hei no no, hei no ano, everybody, hei no ano, ke kuhi kuhi, let us eat this now, how I name, a ke kuhi ke kuhi, her granddaughter will name us in Kuhi. You guys chicken. Chicken. Yeah. We can put your fish in, lobby salmon for the kids. <laughs> What's the ingredients? Uh, fish, shoyu, limu, inemona, tomato, onion. And then I'm gonna put ginger inside for you one different one slant there. Uh, let me go grab the inemona and uh, limu coin in the freezer. So this gets some tomato inside already. Okay, finish up. Yeah. And when I'm low with this bar already, but I want to I want to add some. I need green. I need to add some ginger. Do you want a little bit different slant there? Okay. Little bit green onion. Okay. And this is in the morning. This is cooking now. I'm grinding them. I cook them already. I keep them in the freezer. Just a little bit. What is that? It's cocoa nut. Ground cut cocoa nut. Oh, cocoa nut. But actually, I should put them inside this one too. Let's get limo inside. Give me some ginger. It's all from our garden too. Okay. Now, this one is gold. This came from my friend Sunny Lim. He would pick this in Kohala. And when I was in Kohala, I used to farm in this place called Umibai Bay. It was a sacred bay. So he went go get the death from the same bed that I used to go get before. This is Limoko. So this thing is so expensive. This right there is looking at a couple hundred dollars worth of uh, Limoko. Wow. So I used to like go. Hey, see how that thing is only a little bit. Slow down. Boom. Boom. I don't use them for, 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 for fill up. I just use them for the flavor. Oh yeah, put that down. Sit, sit down. This is frozen. Okay, this is the cheat man style of making. So you put this inside with a limo cone. Okay. Now okay, so you have plenty of kids over here. Okay. Watch this is bugger. I give you cover for my body. We get eggplant, we picked. We get kale, we get pork, we get uh, cucumbers, we get greens, we get uh, this is um, uh, kale, we got lily koi over there. I get one special lily koi, you see this one right here? It's red on this other one. I'm going to save that for seed. So we always grow seed. 
You get chili pepper, you see them on the side over here. Yeah. And all of these trees are full, it gets roast dark, pork, color, color, pink, everything. So we are going. So what I'm going to do, see, we'll stress these guys. These guys, he's Presbyterian or something, you see. Presbyterian? So we're going to give me this up. We'll feed everything to the animals, see. Never, no waste. No. And what I'm doing is, I don't like the, I don't like the volley volley. No, like when he, I don't like, I don't like water them down with, with seeds, eh? Yeah, that's sweet. See that nice little pile? So, now see how smooth you can no, get it? No, just cut them inside. Yeah, like oh, you don't need peel them, huh? No, I don't like peel them. I like the skin because the skin gives more flavor. Oh. Get that crunch. This is not this is not for flavor, this is for texture. Adding texture to the poke. So when you eat the poke, instead of going to get it soft, you're gonna bite into something. See what I mean? Ah. You guys can try the different stones too if you want to switch. Uh, yeah, different Save that one for some one other dish. You might go add some oyster sauce or something to them. So what are the ingredients again? I got I got I got three cuts of limo. I got a limo hula hula vina. You see that fine one? Then we get ogo. Then we got the shoyu. And then we got the green onion, onion, ginger, your piece of ginger. And then I also got shoyu inside and uh, oyster sauce inside here. Oh, that sounds so good. Yeah. And so, what do you call this? This poke. Poke actually means to slice or chop or dice. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's put this back. Hey, come on. Let's throw one on the door on the, on the right hand side. Let's put over there. Okay, now what about this one down here? What is this? Okay, this is lemon salmon, but what are you going to do? Okay, we got, we got, uh, I mean, uh, lomi that stuff. We're going to add green onions to this lomi salmon. Okay, now we're going to add, I'm going to add ginger to them for give them more flavor, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, then, and then, because this guy is Presbyterian, I'm going to add some, uh, some more tomato. Now, this is tomato from my other friend's farm. We trade, you know. What I know more, my other friend gets, so what I get, he don't want, you know what I mean? So we trade. Come on, you see, he's so inside, I guess the cherry tomatoes inside the icebox too. You can add them to this. Can you open that bag over there? Okay, we got to leave it 30. Okay, we're going to get ready for eat. Let me go fry the fish real quick and I'll be back. What about the chicken? The chicken done? Yeah, well, it's not done. It's going to be a little bit tough, but it uh, should be going for at least another 15 minutes. But this is just, I'm going to make it with the lua. You like to come inside for take a Yeah, let's pictures. take a look at it, yeah. Okay. I was going to make another one. Okay, tomato. Inside underneath, you got to look. You go inside one of the pans. You gotta move the green stuff on the top. Just, just be one of the bags. Get plenty of bags. We usually put them in one pump bag. We also sell what we call CSA boxes. You see them? Just, just be one bag. Go and just throw some of that tomato inside here. What kind of salmon is Watch that? Watch out! Get all kinds of stuff. This, this is a uh, red salmon, coho salmon. This salmon is caught by our friends from Alaska. Oh, no more, you found them. You got them. Yeah, I know. We put them inside a bag so that um, we sell them at the um, we one pound bag. We make. What I like about Hunter is how clean his hands are. Okay, we're going to eat in about 10 minutes. Look at some plates. This is tomatoes that we grew too. I mean the water. Oh, not yeah, a farm. Okay. This is cherry tomatoes from my farm, Oscar guy's farm. So I buy them from him, dollar pot. I sell them for three dollars. So Hawaiian in me, the po uh, the pake, the Mongolian blood. Okay. So. Anyway, but you see the idea. The other one even lomium already, but I just added it because. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's tie this back up. Oh, Alright, so you would come to Come meet me. Come around the right side and we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this, this fish real quick. Gonna, we're going to try to finish off the, the, the chicken. Now the chicken been going for a couple, uh, one hour already, but you should go for at least an hour and a half. This is a little stew, I mean, cook them already. It's cooking for two hours. This is the chicken we got. Yeah, this oh, is no, the oh, chicken. I'm going to add this in here. I'm going to make it up for steam. So what I do is, this is the lua leaf. I just put in uh, lua leaf, water, Salt and baking soda for so so the thing keeps this nice green color, yeah. So I keep them all separate. You see what I mean? Now we're gonna add this one inside. This is the one that we cook in. Oh yeah, yeah. Now you see the the story. Okay. Now we'll switch this one around. This is on behind. I'll make this come in the front. Okay, put this one over here, and I'm going to add this to this, see, some of this is kind of big the pieces. Still tough though, I can tell, you see what I mean? Not really that cook. Oh, you're cooking the meat more, huh? Yeah, the cook, it should be cooking for not a long time, but hey, the kids got to go so much, so they got to eat them just how it is. Look at the eggs, he came out like boiling. Okay, so I don't like to put too much broth. Okay, I'm gonna leave this right like this. And the key to that one, we're gonna coconut milk. So now we're adding the coconut milk. Okay, this is gonna too much, a little bit too much saba, but that's okay. Too much what? Saba, too much uh, liquid, but that's okay. For the kids, it's gonna be just right. Okay. Now, this is what I do every week when the kids come. Whoever come, we make this. I can cook from for 20 up to 2,000 people. <laughs> Here? Yeah, I get a whole, you wouldn't even believe what I get. Hey, cook. It's like, oh, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna let that bugger simmer. We need even taste them, we gotta taste them. I wanna add a little bit of salt, but I don't like over salt, you know? Oh, bro. The flavor is from that kind. The chicken broth is really oh no. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna um, get this one going. I did uh, 52 episodes with my kids in line on it. I don't know if you ever saw them called local grinds on the visitor channel. There's all my kids from uh, in the 60s, 70s, 90s. Yeah, but we want to do something now, current. Yeah, I can do whatever you like to do. Yeah. But you know, the cookies, if, you go, if you're talking about farming, and eating, you gotta talk about cooking, eh? Farm okay. to table, farm to table. Yeah, okay. Fire. Oh, yeah. I like the garlic burn a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna turn them down. It's gonna be real fast. Clean the onion. Mmm. Oh, that one smells and tastes almost intolerant. They use a lot of scraps and they throw it. What is that right there? Yeah, it's small bowl. Mince off one of the bowls. You get the, 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 the stainless steel bowls. Oh. Mince off the ones you get in the kind. These are the shkats that you're supposed to use for cat food. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut them in half so that we can um, do me inside there. What is it? This is uh, this is aku, ahi, whatever the heck uh, from Takamiya Market. This is all the shkats they throw away. Oh, no! Yep. Okay. We're gonna throw one inside. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, get get the salt and pepper over there. Everything is high fire. Yeah, just just put pepper inside. Give them. And you use chopsticks for everything, huh? You like cook you like cooking with chopsticks. Yeah, this one's broken already. I gotta get it. This guy's been sure I'm gonna do chopsticks when I'm gone. So uh the guy said I'm gonna it up. Yeah, here we go. Now this uh, this salt, this is actually salt that came from uh, Kauai. Oh brown salt. 
Yeah, oh, turtle white salt. Or white. Koi. Okay. Now, for the koi salt ponds though. We keep this bugger. High fire all the way. Yes. Zero, High fire. Man. Why? Why do you do that? Because I like I like shooter fish. I don't like if you cook them too long, the thing will come rubber. Oops. Sorry. The dog can eat that one, boy. Look at that. So you cook it high, a uh, high uh, temperature, and the reason is to sear in the flavor, and then the thing will come out like rubber. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. If you overcook it, yeah. Okay. I get all my secret sauces over here. <laughs> already uh -oh. made. Just get hoisin sauce. Okay. I made them already. I can tell Uncle Uncle's been to Japan a lot because he he expert with the chopsticks. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Oops. Now I'm gonna in green onion. Then it folds already. Mmm. And what kind of fish is in here you think? Oh got got uh got um I got salmon, got yeah, whatever. I was just here, I saw salmon. Get salmon there. inside here. And what else? Uh, ahi, aku, whatever the, the scraps that you're going to throw in. Okay, now we turn off the fire. This is the key already. Right it's the secret ingredient. Try to turn the camera off. No. <laughs> this is left, the leftover whatever we had. It's shoyu, sesame seed oil, ketsu, which is soya sauce, chili pepper. <laughs> and now you just let them stew in there, yeah? No, that's it. You turn off the fire. Okay, we gotta turn off the other one too. Yeah, the other one's boiling away. Eh? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. What? What now? Now let me clean my mess. Okay. Put away everything. I know we gotta. We gonna grind now. You guys, where's your where's your fire? Yeah. Clean up everything. Put everything away. I was saying. Say that. Really? Yeah. Do, do you have a... Um, that one you guys can go ahead and wash that hang one. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You know what I'm up in there? It's going to be all stuck and full of the fudge. Yeah. Mm. That's about four. Pull that one, Jay. And then you wrap that one around. Yeah, that's it. Here you go. Just take that ginger off of the thing right there. Take that off. Take that. No, take that off because it's not. That's only cold. Yeah. This is hot, yeah. yeah. Okay. So look what we got. We get pokey fish. Okay. We get lomi salmon. And we get some more bowls over there. Now this is the squid luau. I'm not squid, but chicken luau. And a fried fish, this is one special kind of sauce. So what you gotta do, you grab one plate, okay, you guys gotta eat your own poi. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this inside here so you eat them like this. This is the egg. Mm. That's good. Okay. <laughs> the chicken egg? Yep. Remember, this thing's too tough. Should've gone for like another hour, but that's okay. Here, grab one plate. We'll keep on going. Okay, you guys go first. Uncle, you got rice. Huh? I want what? She asked if you had rice. I oh, we eat eating for it! You're a brown boy, you're asking for rice. I get rice though. I'm I get rice, I get rice. But I gotta go, I gotta go heat them up. Come on, I pull you right here. Right. Hey, you should put them inside here. Put them inside here. Yeah, just grab them. You have my chicken. Alright, put that on top of your plate. Yeah, mahila, mahila, mahila. Ginger, nice. I don't know. Yeah, that's uh, raw ginger if you like eat. Can I grab these? Yeah. I don't know. You know how to freeze that, yeah. Oh, soon. You have one spoon, yeah. I don't know how to eat. Okay. That is gonna taste delicious. Okay. Just grab one. I will get some more bowls. And then you put the chairs all around you guys. You can sit down. Yeah. yeah. Sit down. You use your guys' chairs to sit down. Dark right? humor. This is the best humor. Mm -hmm. And then there's Donkey. Who, it's hot. Oh, really this is really good. Ah, it tastes good. I love them. They try to put abundance in front of you. Uncle, he's got a good teaching about that. When you come over, there's always going to be abundance. But 
What they taught me was no matter where you go, if they put it in front of you, to share, you eat it, appreciate it. And then uh, sometimes it just get a little bit too, people share with you. They don't have a much themselves and they share it with you. And then they say like, think about it like this. The blessing is that your lips even get to taste it at all. Yeah. Not that you get to fill your belly, but you feed your spirit. You understand? These kind of foods, traditional foods. Yeah. You don't get this like when you go to Costco or anything. What? Oh, <laughs> 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 you're right on, Patrick. <laughs>